Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up DreamView on your Govi Home app. Now, this video is going to be particularly useful for individuals. Let's say that you have your Govi TV Backlight 3 and you want to go ahead and set up DreamView. How do you actually go ahead and do so? Now, this video is going to be short, sweet, and simple, guys. There's not going to be a lot of steps involved. So, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to go ahead and connect all your devices to your Govi Home app. So, right now, I have my TV Backlight, I have my left floor lamp and I have my right floor lamp connected. Do ignore the other devices, but for now, we're just gonna focus on the TV backlight, the left floor lamp, and the floor lamp basic as what we're gonna use for a dream view. Now, in order to add a device, if you haven't already, you simply just click on the plus icon in the upper right-hand corner, go ahead and turn on your Govi device, and wait until it finds any new nearby Govi devices. Now, on the bottom left-hand corner, you wanna click on where it says shortcuts, and then you wanna go ahead and click onto dream view. Now, DreamView is only going to appear if you have the Gobi TV Backlight 3 connected. So click on the DreamView, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on, and then give it a couple of seconds to load. So now, the way that I have DreamView is that I have my brightness set to this level. I have my saturation set to this level. I set it to part, or sometimes I set it to all, depending on what I'm watching. So if I'm watching something with a lot of dynamic color range, such as like an anime or cartoon, I'll usually set it to part. But if I'm watching like a horror movie or a realistic drama movie, I'll usually set it to all. Now go ahead and scroll down and then click on area setting. Now this is a really important step, guys. I have my Govi DreamView set up based on the locations of my floor lamps. So in this picture here, you can see the TV set in the middle and then you see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 5, 9, 8, 7, 6. My left floor lamp actually resides in the area closest to where 1, 10, and 9 is. So because of that, I simply just set up the colors of the left side of the screen to match the left side of the depicted picture, which is 8, 9, 9, 10, 1, and 2. So let me go ahead and repeat this again. Because my left floor lamp is to the left side of my screen, this is what I set the colors to for that floor lamp. So it's 8, 9, 9, 10. 1 and 2. Now, in order to change the color, all you've got to do is click onto it and then just click on 8 and then you could assign it. If you click on 9, you could assign 9 to different colors. So, same thing with the floor lamp basic, which is my right floor lamp. I set it to 7, 6, 6, 5, 4, and 3. So, this is the way that I've set up my Govi Dream View, where because my lamp is located to the right side of the TV, I make it match the right side colors. And then because this lamp is located on the left side of my TV, I make it match the left side of my colors. And then I have a portable table lamp where based on the number, as you can guess, it is on the right side of my TV. So I just gave it a number five, which is like that indigo tealish color. But I hope this makes sense, guys. Based on the placement of where you put your floor lamp, I usually make it match the colors depicted on the image shown above. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys